Welcome to LearnWire. In this video, I'll be doing an Okoya. I'm going to, I don't know how you pronounce it, but I'm going to say Okoya review. And this is a social media uh, post creation and um, auto publishing platform, as well as it has a full fledged uh, artificial intelligence content writer inside of it. So we're going to go ahead and, and look at this. Now I've already reviewed one recently, a feed hive in particular, uh, that even looks like, um, a very similar, uh, dash dashboard. Uh, and I really liked that software. We're going to see what Okoya has to offer. Uh, this won't be a comparison video, but you want to subscribe and stay tuned because the next video I come out with, uh, for tomorrow will be actually uh, Okoya versus probably Okoya versus FeedHive because I can already see similarities in the two platforms. Um, and then, so I won't be mentioning too much on a comparison, but I will put, um, my own spin and my own opinion on what I think of Okoya once I dive in. So, uh, we are right here, but at any time you want to go pick this software up, remember these, uh, come and go and they end the uh, deals uh, on AppSumo. So if you want, uh, for example, the pricing on Okoya, if you don't get the lifetime deal, um, and hopefully you're lucky enough to be researching this while it's still available to you, because once it's not available, this is not a cheap software. Uh, we're looking at a monthly plan in USD dollars of $59 a month up to 20 social um, profiles. Now it is good that it's unlimited uh, scheduled posts, unlimited images and videos, unlimited AI. So uh, you have the AI and, and you have the unlimited background remover. So they are putting in a lot of stuff. I don't know what Jubilee links are, but that's cool. And analytics and a hundred copy translations. Uh, so <clears throat> now supported channels. I don't think that, I didn't see that they had Pinterest or TikTok added yet. Now those are coming down the pipeline of, from what I have heard Pinterest and they have it on their page. So obviously they are in the pipeline and, and most likely will be released very uh, soon. And that's exciting because Pinterest and TikTok are really, um, I think where it's at right now with social, with social media, driving traffic to websites and that sort of thing. So, but you have, um, once those two get in, you have the, the best ones. Um, so $59, uh, to start, you do get unlimited, but you get an AI writer, you get, um, auto poster, you get a lot of stuff with that pricing. So, but if you want, uh, you want to just click the link below and go get this for $59 and you're going to get a, about a pretty good plan right off the bat. Uh, you're going to get uh, lifetime access, um, and all future silver, um, upgrades, uh, you read you can redeem blah, 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 stack unlimited codes. We don't want to do that. GDPR compliant and so forth. So you, yeah, you're going to get the 20 uh, profiles, which is enough for most people. You could run, if you have three social accounts and you're three, six, nine, 12, 15, you could run six to seven businesses um, with 20 social profiles, right? If you're averaging about three social profiles, if you have the, all, every single one of those social profiles, you could run about two or three businesses, if that makes sense. So really, unless you're an actual, um, marketing agency, then you would want to get the bigger, uh, steeper plans and stack codes and all that stuff. But $59 will get a, you, if you're just an, a solopreneur, um, 59 will definitely get the job done. It's got five tacos, 158 reviews looking really good. So let's go dive into the software. Um, here's the, the dashboard. We have zero of five creatives. Uh, it gives me a one week free, uh, trial and I didn't have to put in a credit card. So I always like that. Uh, shouldn't have to put in a credit card just to test out a software for a few days. Um, they're already limiting it, right? Um, we get the traffic, we get they call it AI Travis. Um, so we get 15 texts enough to try it out. Social profiles, one of two and number of scheduled posts, five. Okay. So we can go schedule some stuff here. So on the front dashboard, you can see they have a create text, copy, create content, go to scheduler. Um, they have, um, an Okoya university. So that's where you're going to be able to um, I like, they have support right there. That's good. Um, Okoya university. So they have their tutorials. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, right click, open that up in a new tab. Let's go see what they have, um, uh, so far in here. 
create text in 26 languages, shorten links. Okay. So Jubilee is a link shortener. That's great. And you get um, access to that. So that's super cool. And when you click on each one of those, they have a video for us. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use a Koya's link. Shortener. That's great. Okay. So I like that, that they have a really nice full fledged support uh, desk right here to answer your questions. And then you can most likely submit a ticket through here. I'm pretty sure. Okoya Help Center. Uh, you can click on that. And um, let's see, I'm trying to see if we needed to, they have help articles, um, FAQs and the university. Okay. So, um, oh, and then if you needed to get in touch with them, obviously, yeah, you come to the right, lower right, and then you actually ask, uh, that's where you reach out to them. So really good stuff. Um, that's better than um, a lot of places, um, a lot of softwares that I reviewed. Um, they have a blog here, download uh, the one pager and get uh, one more creative. Okay. So what you would do to get started, you've got to go to social accounts and you've got to connect. You've got to connect, right? So I chose to connect a Facebook page and I connected a, my, now this is what um, I do think is going to separate this from a lot of other softwares is that they are, um, oh, they do. Oh, okay. Coming soon. Okay. So look at this coming soon for Pinterest and uh, TikTok coming, TikTok coming soon, Etsy coming soon, Amazon and eBay. So that's neat that that stuff's already on their page. You know, it's coming soon. So that's really, really um, awesome. Uh, WooCommerce. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, but I'm running a Shopify store, uh, a digital um, print Shopify store. So it's not even physical products, but I connected that and it was seamless, very, very easy to connect. And then also um, my Facebook, a Facebook page. So I connected two accounts. Great looking really, really good. They do have API. Uh, I'm not going to get into that in this review, but they do have API, which is really cool. Cause I mean, if you wanted to have someone build in automation with this tool, they could use the API and, and so forth. Um, or if you wanted, if you were building a, if you were working on a project and you somehow wanted to build uh, something that could use the API to come in here and actually create posts and stuff like that for you, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, they have an analytics page. <clears throat> And you can come see here. Um, and I'm sure that this, you'd like, we'd like to see this get a little bit more robust, but that's basic analytics. You could click on the advanced analytics and that is on their roadmap because I know that this has been out for a couple of months and that that was one of the, um, in a lot of other people's reviews, that is what the, they're not really a complaint, but just a suggestion is that they would add more analytics. And so that's why. It's really nice to see that they are listening to their audience and their customers <clears throat> and they are going out and continuing to take this to another level. So um, roadmap, we can go and open up the roadmap real quick and you can see they've got a nice roadmap on their website about what they're doing, ideas over here, WordPress inter integration. Uh, and then the to-do list right here, TikTok integration is right there. And then they have, let's see, in progress. And let's see if we can see where the Pinterest is and then done over here. So we have done over here. So I'm going to say a control find and pin. So here we go. All plans will get Pinterest integration and it's in progress and it's the third priority right there. So, you know, that's coming quick, really good stuff. Come back over here to Okoya. So that's that. And then we have the e-commerce and the um, Travis AI. So I guess I'll just point out the Travis AI before we go in and actually show the content creator. They have something that looks a lot like, it looks like they've taken, <clears throat> they've taken pepper type and a little bit of Jarvis and kind of uh, put them together. And then, I mean, cause the, the interface looks very similar to those. So, um, yeah. So, I mean, Hey, what are you writing today? And you can go add copy assist. You can go to uh, God mode. If you click on God mode, then you can tell it what to write right here and push generate. And then it will, you can just give it a command and then it will come out and write something for you, but it does paragraphs at a time. So it's very similar to, um, pepper type in that respect feature to benefit product review. So it looks like they have three times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So it's uh, 18 times three plus two. So they have 56 modules. So this is a full fledged Instagram ad copy 
this is a full fledged um, creator and it doesn't mean necessarily that it has to do have uh, anything to do with, it doesn't have to have anything to do with social media because <clears throat> there's going to be blog stuff in here. You can do cover letters. You could go sell these products on Fiverr and you would just come in here and it's very similar to pepper type. Uh, one thing I wanted to look at real quick, the hashtag generator. So let's just say we're going to, um, I'm going to put teach me money methods, one of my brands, and then we're going to going to say, um, how to make money on YouTube, something like that, generate hashtags. And then it's going to, it's going to come out and give you some hashtags, which is pretty cool. YouTube money methods, how to learn, how to earn money online, how to make money online. Okay. So you could take, so just kind of notate these down, but these are some pretty good hashtags that have um, everything to do with what I put in here. So I like that. And you would just, uh, you could save or edit or whatever. So that's cool. So the AI is speaks for itself. It's, it's a, it's a good GPT three, um, AI, um, writer. So you're getting this and you know what? I want to go back over here just to see what you get with the, um, with the AI writer, do you get unlimited, uh, unlimited images, 10,000 templates, unlimited use of traffic, Travis AI. So that's, that's a big, that's a big thing. So if a lot of you guys missed out on pepper type, um, or some of the other AI content writers, softwares, um, that you missed out on the lifetime deal, this would be the time to get Okoya because you're going to get this full fledged AI writer. That's part of this. And I would just separate it as a separate module. It's literally Okoya AI writer or Travis AI. And you get all this stuff right here. So, and you can write, you could write blog posts and all kinds of stuff. So really good stuff there. Um, I would say it's a, it's a, um, at least a, a seven or eight out of 10, um, content writer, uh, AI content writer. So it's, it's, it's good. It's going to get the job done. May not be as good as Jarvis or pepper type or something like that, because that's their a hundred percent. Those other companies focus. Whereas Okoya is kind of trying to do it all. They're trying to, um, you know, do a little bit of everything. And so we will see only time will tell what they actually end up excelling at, but hopefully it's the social media side, right? Cause that's what you really want this to do for you. Right? So we'll go to my content. And we'll create something real quick. So we would just say you can create on Canva. Um, I do have a Canva account, but I'm not going to go through c connecting that right now. But that's really cool because I use Canva daily in my business. So it's cool that they have integration with Canva. I like that. So um, and if anything, you really could just create your designs in Canva, download them and then just um, upload them into Okoya. It'll let you do that as well. Uh, so right here, um, I'm just going to. We're going to do a Facebook post because I have one connected to Facebook, but they are, they have Pinterest right there. That's really neat. Um, not sure how they have Pinterest right there. Cause maybe you could just download it and then schedule it yourself. Cause I don't think that they have the full Pinterest uh, integration done yet. So I'm going to come through here and just go Facebook post, click that. It's going to open up. And I think that when it it's native one that it's going to open up into is just Crello. And so they have a white label. Um, a white label access to Crello. So this is Crello, but it doesn't have to have any other Crello branding. And, but they do have, that's going to be an amazing designer uh, right in here. It's going to be very much like Canva, which is cool. So we can come through here and let's just, um, kind of search for something. Let's just say I'm going to, um, I don't know. So we've got money right here. Okay, cool. Let's just click one. That's great. And we could change the colors for branding. You know, if we wanted to, um, I'm going to, you know what, that's what I'm going to do real quick. I'll go in here and I will switch. Oh, I don't have that one in here. Okay. So we're just going to go with this one though, which I know is, um, very s close to my branding and we will just come through and I'm going to change the color right here and throw that color in right there. And we change the color. That's great. And then I'm going to change this to, okay. I think that's actually a background, so can't change the color if it's actually a picture, which that's exactly what it is. So um, I can actually just delete that and then we can come over here. Okay, so we've got something and then you could just say something like um, make money online starting today, something like that.
Okay, so I just changed it kind of to some branding. <clears throat> we could take that off and make it not a card and then just come over here to <clears throat> objects. And I'm just going to say money. Cool. We can come through here and just grab some different money. Grab that right there. Get smaller. And we can just get rid of that stuff, right? And then just grab a couple more. So just make this graphic a little cooler like so okay so we have one made a custom one based on a template and then by pushing the publish button over here it doesn't publish it to your social media account i know that that was part of a confusion it just uh makes it to where now it's available in your bucket inside of okoya to where we can actually use it to schedule it out now so see and then you could just come in here and create inside of here and then you would have these in here um already so that's great um, and then you can edit the design. And so right here, just imagine you have 10, you come in here and spend 30 minutes creating a bunch. So then now, and you could download this and go and upload it to Pinterest. If you wanted to, if you did the Pinterest template, that's cool. Um, eventually you'll be able to just publish it from inside of here. So then now we can just go add caption. <clears throat> it takes you into here where we can go, uh, basic, basically right here, um, how to make money online how to make money on YouTube. And I'm going to say generate. So caption generator. It's going to go out there and it's going to write some captions, hopefully for us. And we have no thanks. I've got a job and don't need this dress. How to make money online on YouTube. Discover how to be your own boss. Learn the secrets of making money. That one's good. So it gave us some good ideas, right? It gave us one, two, three, four, five, five outputs. Uh, we could product announcements. That's cool. Um, so I like how inside of here you can actually uh, create the AI created this for us. So we can go ahead and just add this. So it adds it into our um, caption over here. <clears throat> so that's really neat. And then uh, trending hashtags, uh, we're going to go generate. So based off of what we've done so far, so these hashtags have nothing to do with it. And this is um, generate trending hashtags. Uh, by scanning your post and comparing the keywords against the database. So there really is just nothing in here, right? It's just, it's not, it's not coming up with um, something based on what we put in here. There's a lot of stuff in here, video marketing, blogging, YouTube, make money online. So it should be able to create the hashtags, but it's really not, um, it's not doing it. Okay. So this is one feature that, um, in other reviews that I watched as well, that they were kind of, um, kind of dings, uh, points down on this uh, part of section of Okoya. It's not doing a good job with the hashtags. So, and there's an inspirational quotes thing over here as well. So what you would end up having to do is we would just save this post. And what you would end up having to do is come back over here to Travis AI. And so this is the part that they need to fix. Um, I am going to point this part out. They need to fix this part because this is not, this is not working. Um, we're going to come down here to the hashtag generator, which is good that they have this in here, but you shouldn't have to come all the way to this section. Uh, so right here, I'm going to say, teach me money. Uh, no, I'm just going to say money and how to make money on YouTube generate hashtags. Okay. So it's going to go out there and generate hashtags for us and we can come through here. So these are a lot better, right? Money, make money, uh, how to earn money online and YouTube. Okay. So we can just save this add copy saved. I'm not sure where that goes to, but I'm going to go ahead and just actually copy this manually and we're going to come back and over to my content real quick. And then we are going to go over here and edit the caption again. <coughs> okay. And then we can just put those in here, uh, control V paste and then save. So now we have our hashtags in there. So you wouldn't want to do that uh, for all of them. So I don't like, um, again, that's a big ding. They need to fix the hashtag generator and they're, and they should just be able to use the AI that they're, that they have, or you should be able to just uh, manually put it in, um, like, you know, type in your keyword and then it'll, it'll use Travis AI to generate those just like I showed you. All right. So the last step would be to publish. So if you click the publish, it's going to ask us if we want to schedule it or publish it now. So post now, or we can schedule. Now we could pick our date and time right here. Um, that's great. You can do your scheduling and then schedule it. Right. So, and then you have a whole schedule, uh, calendar right here. So that looks really good. So, um, we're going to post now 
and we'll come back and check it here in a minute while that's publishing. <laughs> that's cool. Fireworks and stuff. All right. So it shows up over here that we published that. That's cool. And we will come back over. And uh, one last thing I want to show you guys is that I think that this is a major plus for Okoya. And I haven't seen any other softwares doing this is that I connected my Shopify store to this. And um, under e-commerce, I can click on e-commerce and I already connected it. So it's uh, boutique printables and you can see, look, it's showing all these items that are in my store and the price and all that really cool stuff, right? So what you could do is come over here and <coughs> just grab one office task tracker, use as a creative, apply a template. So there's two different things you can do. Let's click on apply a template. And there's just different templates over here. Uh, let's just grab, apply this template. Oh, okay, cool. So it has the image over here. That is super cool. And then it has the title over here, but, um, the image over here needs changed. So, um, they only have a few templates, so there's not a ton of templates. Um, not really sure about, uh, <laughs> I'm not really sure about the per, you know, the, the people on here that, I guess it's just kind of like a model, you know, this would, this, the template part would work really well for if you just have, if you're selling sunglasses or if you're selling uh, electronics or something like that, right? Because this is not going to really work with my product line. I don't think because the person's still going to be there. So yeah, I'm not going to really use that, but it's cool. Hopefully um, I would say this is a great idea, but they are, it is in beta, you know, so I'll give them credit for that. It's not, um, it's not completely mastered or finalized yet, but they need to have a lot more templates. They need to have templates that don't have people in them as well. So that's cool. Uh, let's just go back. I'm going to click on e-commerce. We're not going to use that. Uh, I'm going to come right here and use the same one, but we're going to just say use as creative. And then it's going to pop open Crello. So um, what I would say with the design process that it does save time uh, because it's already all integrated in here, which is really cool. So we have an image in here and you can kind of do whatever you want to with this, right? And we could just literally, because this is already a nice design and mock-up, um, we can, and you can remove backgrounds in here as well, but I'm going to go ahead and just extend this out. Oops. Okay. And just extend it out. Okay. So, and I'm, let's see if you can change the size to what, what size you want to speed up the web app. Okay. I'm not seeing where you could change the size in here, but we're going to just move on. And so you could go, you could just put this at the top actually. And then you could say, uh, something to an, uh, to an effect of, we'll just come through here and grab some text and let's just grab right here. Something like that. Move that down. Okay. So there you go. And then we could just go publish. Okay. So we click publish. PNG publish, and then now it's going to show up. So it's cool. It's connected. So you don't have to go to your website, download the image, come back. Um, your store's already in here, right? So you, that's really, really cool. So then now you have just created another graphic inside of here <clears throat> and we could add captions now to it and we could edit. So it's not going to let you publish it directly because you have to come in here and you've got to give it a, a caption generator. So this is going to be a office tasks, uh, tracker printable down load. And so, um, for only a dollar 60, something like that, I'm going to push generate. Okay. And it wants, uh, it wants me to pay now. So, um, looks like the, the, the test account, um, I've used, um, what I can for the day or for the week. I'm not sure, <clears throat> but remember, um, once we add this caption in here, we could just add it ourselves anyways. No, no problem. Oh, uh, edit caption. Just throw that in there. Now the issue is, is that trending hashtags, it's not going to get us, um, you know, keyboard, computer keyboard. We're just really not sure where this stuff's coming from. Cause these are really, really bad, um, hashtags. So we would just want to just, um, use, that's just one part they really need to improve on. We're just going to say, um, printable, and office uh, tasks tracker um, task uh, 
to do list printable, something like that. Okay. So then save and then uh, save this post. So then we're done with that part. And then you would have to come back in here and then go to publish. And then we could schedule this out and I would schedule it for uh, maybe tomorrow. Let's just say we're going to schedule it tomorrow at um, 8 a.m. And then we'll just say schedule, right? And then you can select your profile and all that good stuff. But since this is not, that one is for a different business. I'm not going to do that. So uh, all in all, let's just conclude that this is a great software. There's a lot going on in the software. Um, I think that where it needs a little help is defining exactly what the user's actually supposed to be using the software for. It's like they, it's, I'm not really sure if they were, if they could make their mind up if they wanted to be a, an AI writer or a social media content tool or what have you, right? But my thing is the biggest thing they need to fix is the hashtag generator. And then they also need to um, fix or work on the workflow. Okay, so I'm going to open up this whiteboard real quick and just talk about workflow for a second. So as far as workflow, right? Um, I'm just going to come through, just use black. Okay. So they have a bunch of different steps, right? So you have step one and I can't draw very well. And then, um, in order to get to, so if this is step one and then this is step two, in order to get to step two, right? So this was, uh, like when you, you create the content. Uh, so this is, uh, create. So in order to what, so we're trying to create content and then what's our end result that we're trying to, to do. We're trying to schedule. We're trying to schedule or publish. This is the end result. So in order to get from point A to point B in or Okoya, unfortunately there's too many steps from what I'm seeing, there's about three to four steps in order to make that work. You got to create this and then you got to go into another screen to add the text to it. Then you got to go back and do something else to it. Then you got to go back and schedule it, right? So it's, it's just not streamlined. If they could somehow make a really uh, user friendly way to get all of what you need done right here, um, in like one step and then maybe click a button and then it takes you over to the post scheduler would be really cool. So that's about one of the only things that I would just kind of point out that maybe the taking you from point A to point B to point C uh, in a little bit better user friendly way would, would be is what they need to focus on. But I do think it's an awesome concept. It's a great tool. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave a comment below. What do you think about Okoya? Are you going to go pick it up? Do you think that it's maybe uh, overhyped or there's too much going on in the software where it's actually confusing and then you're, you're actually don't know if you'd actually save time using it? Uh, let me know. Um, nonetheless, if you want to pick it up, go click the link below and get it for 59 bucks because you know that that's going to go away. And remember, you do get an un unlimited content writer, which is just a massive bonus. So um, all in all, I think it's a good software. It just needs a couple of improvements. And let me know again below. Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. And then my next video, I'm going to actually uh, give my thoughts on a comparison between this and uh, Feed Hive. So stay tuned for that video. I'll see you in the next.